All right, so today I'm going to be replacing these stock headlamps with aftermarket ones from Spider that feature the uh, kind of wraparound LED ring that's supposed to be kind of reminiscent to the Raptor headlights. So they couldn't really make this any easier. I'm going to walk you through it real quick and kind of give you a review on my take on the headlights, and then you can decide if you want to get them for yourself because I didn't see a whole lot out there other than manufacturer stuff. So it's actually really easy, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove these two... 10 millimeter bolts from the top of the headlight. Next you're going to take out this little screw right here. It's just a little, um, it just secures this little plastic thing. So just kind of lightly remove this little plastic screw. You, Then you can just give this a little tug right here. Move that out of the way. And then you're gonna have one more screw down here behind that little protective flap. Once you've got the, the uh, three screws removed, your headlight's ready to come out, you just gotta give it a kind of a tug because there's two clips right here. Just kind of grab it pretty firmly and See if you can't give it a little tug. Just like that. Be careful when you pull it out. You've got three wires back here that you need to disconnect. Go ahead and pull the headlight out. Like I said, be careful. You've got three wires you've got to disconnect. And they simply just twist out. Be careful with the uh, headlamp bulb. You don't want to touch it just in case you have to replace it before you're done with this project. Now this one is gonna actually come off the socket for the bulb. You can just push this little tab right here. And the actual socket itself comes apart. Let's try not to break the bulb. So then you can take the uh, socket itself off. This is gonna stay your corner marker lamp and then your headlight. Go ahead and remove that bulb as well. Take your new headlamp, tuck these wires up out of the way for a minute, and just kind of set it up here. Now you see you've got a lot of wires going on, but they've made it really easy for you. So you're just going to go ahead and take the um, wires that match up with the headlamp. And they all fit right in. It's all plug and play. You don't need to do anything. And then the marker lamp is simply going to plug in a little plastic protective dust cover you need to remove and it's simply just going to screw in just like you took it out on the on the factory one all right go ahead and kind of guide it into place and you, you will kind of have to tap it pretty good once it's seated Make sure you line up these clips. There you go. Go ahead and reinstall the, uh, the screws. You don't have to torque them down too much. Uh, you may have to adjust the beam pattern. There is a little adjustment screw on the back. So you don't go ahead, don't tighten them down too much in case you have to get back there to uh, change the angle of the pattern. There. All right, so it's about seven o'clock. The sun went down about a half hour ago, so we we're losing some lights. So now you can see the uh, the cutoff and beam pattern on these spider headlamps. Uh, clearly the left one needs to be adjusted down a little bit. Um, there's a little knob on the back for that. The right one actually looks pretty good. I haven't measured them. Uh, I'll do that uh, Do that later. Uh, but just eyeballing it, they look pretty good. Um, also, the truck's on the driveway is pointing up. so um, But they look really good. The left one could come down a little bit. Um, pretty happy with them. Light output's pretty good. It's better than stock, um, but it's not like a uh, 
full aftermarket HID system. So I might end up doing that uh, eventually. Um, retrofit uh, or HID Retrofit Source, I think is their name, has a kit that modifies into this to uh, put a HID and better projector in there. So we'll see. But for now, I'm definitely happy, definitely an improvement over the, the stock headlights. Uh, so I'm going to get that adjusted and uh, looks pretty good.